All right, we're out. I was All looking right. at it, and he pulled it off and said, "Oh yeah, that's a cast hole. That's an M4A1." Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad somebody knows more about it than okay. I do. How many kits you got in this one, Ralph? Because mm -hmm. the canopy probably came from one kit, and the wheels are from another no, kit. No, actually, that's a uh, straight out of the box. It's an Airfix, old Airfix. No, box. it's not straight out of the box. Yeah, dude, it? he can show you the price ticker: seventy-nine cents. <laughs> no, it was a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a new old Airfix kit. <laughs> Not a first iteration. In fact, I meant to bring the little uh, box in, and I forgot I lost it. I love when he does that. Yeah. I do have a few kits, but even my <laughs> older kits, I got seven dollar price tags on as that the least expensive. Anyway, they, uh, just pretty. It's pretty much right out of the box. I, I did add a little bit in the cock, but you but you can't see. Even the pilot was in the in the box. The only thing I did or didn't do is. Uh, I didn't put the landing gear on it because this is what they give you for a landing gear. It's all one piece. Ooh, and yay. The Top landing, of the line? Huh? <laughs> Top of the line back then? No, uh, <laughs> uh, and I didn't want to deal with trying to paint it. Oh. So the, uh, the landing gear with the wheel wells are just big empty holes and there's no, you know, nothing in it. No so pipe I yeah. didn't want to deal with that, so I just made it flying with the gear up and, and uh, uh, I scrounged some parts from another stand. That's not the Airfix stand. And, uh, I don't know. That's about, that's, that's about it. Uh, not nothing special about it. It's just uh, nice. Yeah. Now again, you're talking old school kits. To, yeah, it's probably were, were the landing gear doors separate items back then, or were you supposed to expect to cut those open? No, they you were. They were uh, uh, separate. separate parts, and they were they shape they fit pretty well, but. Uh, you know, again, I didn't want to deal with the, you know, that empty Understand? space up there. So, like I said, I've I've seen some older kits in like magazines and stuff, and how basic they were compared to what we have today, or even when I started building. And it's funny because I know it's basic from my days. He knows basic that I would never comprehend at all. So, so when so. when did you do the, when was this made? Just about. Well, that's World War Two. No, I mean the kit. Yeah. How long 70s, did you get, 60s, basically? 70s, 70s. See, so I was I was building in the 60s, and we already had landing yeah, gear doors in and stuff the like 60s that. Yeah, in the 60s and stuff. In the 60s, I was building to build. I wasn't building for accuracy. I was, I was stuff. too, right? But I'm saying you were talking about whether it right. had landing gear doors. And I remember building Hinkles and uh, Dorners and stuff like that, and they all had landing gear doors and stuff like that. Well, I can remember some of my first Italian. Model kits had left a lot to be desired. I think this is probably the late '60s. I would think. I don't know. Uh, well, dollar thirty-nine. I'm not. Yeah, I that. remember yeah. those days. Because yeah. you know, I was paper boy, and you know, thirty bucks, you could buy a lot of models and a lot of paint. Now I got paints, testers' paints that still say ten cents on the model. At the last Seattle show, well, right, right into the paint, the cap. On the cap, it says ten cents. And oh, yeah. Rebecca and I made a model change. And, uh, and when I pulled out the seal box, if he sticker, seven dollars. Yeah. And I told him, I said, please open this because it's been that long. I know I bought it, but I would like to make sure that all the parts haven't melted or anything <laughs> like that. Well, so, it really yeah. gets me these old like old hawk kits that I built in high school, and that was during the Second Punic War. And that was uh, they were, uh, you know, they charged. 50 cents or 39 yeah. cents, yeah. and then they want eight dollars for the same kit, yep. and it's the same. They haven't done a damn thing nope. to it. As a matter of fact, the molds got worse. <laughs> yeah, because they keep reusing them. Yeah, because there's really all the flash on them now and everything. Yeah, yeah. and then it's got it's got a nice bigger box and a yeah. better box uh, art, but other than that, it's the same yeah. thing. Like, I got those uh, Hawks weirdos. You remember the weirdos, yeah. right? Yeah, I remember when I was in high school when those were new, and they were like a buck, a buck and a quarter yeah. each. And I bought them at a car show, and the guy was selling them for seven fifty, which was cheaper than the fifteen dollars online. You know, I bought we back in the day when we were one of the models because we had to like build experimental something, and I wasn't going to waste a whole lot of money on it. So I bought the old Italarice spat kit, which in turn is the old Hawk spat kit, right? Which in turn has the decal placement locations engraved. On yeah. raised lines on yes. the plastic. Yes, I remember those. And, <laughs> and that's what I did. I had to sand it all off, and I did it like the first <laughs> Blue Angels biplane. And that's how I painted it, you know, in white. But it was just, and you're right. I think in your, your day and age, it was probably a 50 cent kit. Yeah. And at the AFIs at the time I picked it up, it was 725, 750, something like that. 
I mean, it was still a sound kit for a World War One airplane, and I like it was a fun build, but it was just I wasn't expecting that. I pull out the sprue, and here's the British Roundel. There's the other one. Here's it's like, oh wow, this is really old. Well, see, the only thing that survived my military career and everything like that is the kit instructions. Mm -hmm. So I have like uh, I built the beer wagon and all those uh, Tom Daniels cars. I still have the original instructions, but I remember paying for the beer wagon, 75 cents for that car model with my paper money. And now they're repopping them and they're 30 bucks. Yeah. I think I paid about a buck and a quarter for a monogram P40B yeah. on 48 scale over here at Lewis at the, at the Four Seasons on Fort Lewis. Thank <laughs> you.